I think it was life for her. <laughs> Every one of these signatures tells a story. She would stay there as long as she could just to try to get to meet the players. Every single one was hunted down by Janet Wooten. She was just the biggest jazz fan you'd ever meet. Throughout the years, she amassed a massive collection of memorabilia. Up on this mantle, she had um, just a bunch of stuff, and then she had the jerseys right next to the TV so she could always see it. But her living room is empty now. Janet passed away this summer after a battle with cancer. She was uh, beyond loving and caring. I can still hear her in the back of my mind while Jazz are playing. When her family opened her will, they discovered her intention to give all the collectibles to the Jazz to be auctioned for charity. That just melted my heart. This is just a small fraction of what she donated. There are basketballs, some signed by her favorite player. Uh, Jeff Hornacek. She loved the way he played, but she also thought he was very sexy. <laughs> Autographed leather jackets. She wore that to every game. There's even a bullhorn she used to heckle opposing players. She was known for her bullhorn. She never thought she was screaming loud enough. <laughs> and so when she got her bullhorn, you know, it was extra loud. That may have made things uncomfortable for her grandson. Almost to the embarrassment part. <laughs> but it sure created unforgettable memories. Her energy just flows into me. This season without Janet has been hard on our loved ones. That was like family time. But they're comforted knowing to this day Janet is making a difference. It's her going out in the, out in the world and it's nice for new people to experience it.